Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, John. How are you doing? Good day. Good <laughs> evening. I don't know what time of day it is. I'm stuck in my office. How are you, Art? I'm doing great. And I, uh, what I'm really doing great is I'm thinking back to our conversation with uh, Chaplain Dove Cohen. Dove Cohen and yes. what a wonderful yes. conversation it was. But we left off uh, a whole bunch of stuff about his fascinating life. So I think it's time for us. I think it's time for us to get back to him, don't you? We, you know what? You're absolutely right. We uh, we interviewed him, and he talked about food for life, food to life dot org. Uh, he talked about his prison uh, uh, chaplaincies. He talked about all these many many charities that he's been involved with since being a, an Air Force chaplain years ago, and uh, and the energy that he gets. But I want. I want to follow that up with questions for Dove about where he finds that motivation and how we can get some of it. Well, hi there, Chaplain Dove. How are you? Dove, how is that for an introduction? Thank you very much, both of you, for welcoming me back. I'm happy to be here. Great. Good. So you heard the introduction. The question is, you've been doing, you're 76 years old. You've been a chaplain all your life. It's a career. You're involved with so many charities, helping so many people. Obviously, the veterans has been the, the main theme throughout your life. But the real question for the rest of us is, particularly seniors, where do you find your motivation? Where do you get your energy? So many of us are, and I don't, you don't have to be 76 to get to lose steam. People lose steam at 50 and 60 and sit on a couch and ask himself, oh, I'm, I can't do anything. I'm too tired. I'm too fill in the blank. Where do you get your motivation to keep going? Well, I, it's, it's been a, a very long and a very joyful career. Uh, <clears throat> going right from seminary into the Air Force during the height of the Vietnam War, uh, working with uh, not only the military, but all of the families that support their military members. Uh, it's just, it, every day is a, is a treasure. I wake up every morning and I know I have a gift and I need to share that gift. I want to find people where I can help improve their lives, make their lives a little better. And as a matter of fact, when you ask the question, something came to memory. Um, we have uh, materials that we bring out to the women's prison in Corona. And they make all kinds of wonderful things, afghans and quilts and pillows. And then I pick them up right before Veterans Holiday Celebration has their annual event. This year in 2021, it'll be uh, in May, on May 16th. Uh, and one of the stories is um, we had all these homeless veterans, some of them with children, lined up. And they were coming through to pick something as their takeaway, a quilt, an afghan, a, a hat, whatever it was that was made at the prison by veterans for these veterans. Uh, and one of the volunteers said to the little girl who was with her dad, uh, obviously homeless, uh, you can take something else. Everyone's taking one, but you can take two. And she looked up at her dad and she said, Daddy, can I have something else? And he said, no. Um, see all those people lined up? There were like 200 people lined up. He said, they don't have anything. And we have something. So let's just leave it so that one of them will be able to have it. And that expresses every feeling that I have about helping people. And you never know. And there was nobody who was volunteering that day left without a tear in their eye. They said, even with nothing, they had something more than someone else. And that's what it is. That's all. It, I mean, it, it's that simple. Associate with great people, do some good work, and you'll be happy. So what is your suggestion well, to the couch potatoes of the world or yes. the people who think, you know, it's time for me to slow down, uh, whether they're retired, whether they're semi-retired, uh, uh, what can they do? so that they can start getting the joy of uh, helping somebody else? 
Well, there are many ways to do it. One of the ones that I always recommend is an organization in Southern California called Big Sunday. They support over 2,000 nonprofits in California. Uh, wherever you live, if you're watching this outside of California, there are always places like the American Red Cross, the Salvation Army, uh, and many, many, many others. Find a group and go and do something. Give a little bit of yourself, a little bit of your time, if you have the, the, the finances, a little bit of your money, but help somebody. You'll feel terrific. It's really true that you know, giving is, is far better than receiving. Uh, good advice. And I think one of the other great feelings of joy comes from romance. And we know you well enough to know that at the tender age, you're now 76, at the tender age of what, 67, you found romance again? Tell us about that. Yeah. Um, it started off being very sad because I, I went back on an emergency trip. My brother was diagnosed with stage four cancer. And we're sitting there having a heart to heart in Boston. And uh, I found myself saying, well, right now I'm not involved with anyone, but if I found someone like Pink, and I was referring to the Pink Lady, um, and my brother, after the fifth time, he said, I don't know who Pink is, but what's wrong with asking Pink? And I said, you know, I, I think she's involved with someone, and I, I came back a few days later, landed in Los Angeles, called her up, we had lunch, um, the following few days, uh, we went out to dinner, and when dinner was over, uh, I dropped her at her house, and as I was leaving, uh, she took out a pink key and handed it to me and said, when are you moving in? And I said, how about tonight? And we've been together ever since. <laughs> and we both share so many common interests because my whole life has been dedicated primarily to veterans and seniors. And her whole life, after working in, in women's wear, she was married for 39 years, her husband died. Um, she recreated herself uh, as an actress, uh, doing commercials and stage presentations, motivational speaking, all of that. And she said, uh, you know, here's the key when you want to move in. And I said, tonight. And here we are, and, you know, all these years later, doing the things we love to do. And we do them every day. She's on the phone seven days a week lining up people to be on our TV show. I mean, we're always doing something to help the community. And most of the people are seniors. Sure, sure. And love really has no age limit, does it? I mean, you're now 76. She's 80, 88. 88. Just had her 88th birthday. Or she likes to say she's enjoying her 89th year. She's in her 89th year, and she will also take exception if you say, I'm 76 years old. She'll say, no, he's 76 years young. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And I, for those of people who are watching who do not know who the Pink Lady is, uh -huh. just go to our CelebratingAct2.com website or our YouTube channel for Celebrating Act 2, and you'll find Manny Pacheco's interview with uh, Pink, her friends call her by her first name, I love that, a and uh, the tour of the Pink Palace, which she gave Manny. Uh, two great videos, but she is a dynamo uh, unto herself. Uh, and I love the idea that the two of you are not just partners in life, but partners in business. I mean, you're, you're both running charities and you're both, uh, you have a mind meld about veterans and seniors, and everything is dedicated to those two communities. It's it's wonderful. And you also have uh, a, a a TV show that I think you're producing with her. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Okay, it's called Pink Lady Presents. It's shown to about eight million households in Southern California on Channel 18 in Orange County. It's on Channel 118. Uh, and what we do is present. Uh, entertainers and authors and civic leaders, uh, everyone from a uh, major general in the army to uh, an 11-year-old tap dancer uh, to a six-year-old who received a standing ovation while singing at the Crystal Cathedral. And all of those things can be seen on PinkLadyPresents.com. 
where you'll see maybe a hundred or more of her productions. And, and I've been really privileged to share uh, those efforts with her. And we're still doing it. We have, we've done over 400 shows together uh, in the last three years. Only 400 so shows. Take so John, 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 he doesn't really have a whole lot of energy. I thought it was yeah. at least 600, but it's well, only, it, only 400. What, what was really interesting is um, we have a studio and when we would tape one show and then everyone would leave. And one day we were sitting there saying, this is ridiculous. We have everyone in the studio. The crew is there. Why don't we just keep going? So then we started taping three, four and five shows whenever wow. we got together. And we found that we were doing that every week. Right. And we just quickly had 400 shows. We said, okay, now we can take it easy. And then the pandemic broke. So we've been running first run programming since February without taping a show since February. And we Amazing. have great guests. Yeah. Well, John, before we yeah. sign and, off, and, I, I want to go, uh, Dove, I want to go back to uh, uh, a one shot to make it easier to put uh, some information. Uh, give us once again uh, your Food to Life pro uh, program. It's so important, and to how people can connect uh, uh, to that organization. Sure. Uh, two ways. Foodtolife.org is F O O D T O L I F E.org. Food to Life. Dot org. Or you can call 949-215-9995. People can donate, they can support us, and they can also enroll and start receiving meals. We deliver free, free meals. meals a week. At no charge to them. No charge. Good. Dove, uh, this has been great. Thank you very much. It's great to see you again, and I'm sure we'll be in touch. Um, and thank you for the advice on... Uh, getting up, getting motivated to getting up, getting out and getting a life. Yes. Yeah. All right. We'll see sounds you soon. Like, sounds like a book title. Great to see you. Bye. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.